Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this, we'll talking about new Canada Immigration Levels Plan 2024 coming on November 1st. The excitement is building as Canada prepares to unveil its new Immigration Levels Plan for 2024 on November 1st. This highly anticipated announcement will set the course for the country's immigration targets over the next three years. With a surge in interest from aspiring newcomers, this plan carries significant weight and may hold key insights into Canada's commitment to immigration. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming video. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. As is customary, the new Immigration Levels Plan 2024-2026 to for Canada is set to be announced on November 1, 2023, outlining annual targets for the next three years. Mark Miller, the newly appointed Minister of Immigration, Refugees, Citizenship, and Canada, will be announcing his first Immigration Levels Plan. This year's announcement will be closely watched in terms of whether Canada will increase, decrease, or just keep the annual immigration target steady. Understanding the Canadian Immigration Levels Plan Will Canada increase immigration levels? Focus on temporary residents and new immigration levels plan 2024. Current immigration levels plan 2023 to 2025. However, Immigration Minister Mark Miller and the former Immigration Minister Sean Fraser have repeatedly indicated that more immigrants are needed to build up the houses and that immigration is a solution to the ongoing housing crunch. Mark Miller, in an interview, indicated that there is no question of reducing immigration. The question is whether we should keep it at current levels or increase it further. Understanding the Canadian Immigration Levels Plan it is important to understand exactly what the Immigration Levels Plan means since it is often blown out of proportion. The Immigration Levels Plan outlines the number of annual permanent residents, PRs, to be landed among all the categories, including economic immigration, family sponsorship, refugees, and protected persons. However, these numbers do not essentially mean that all of these new permanent residents will come from outside Canada. Almost close to 45% of the economic immigration admissions are temporary residents already inside Canada who transition to permanent residency, PR. Furthermore, there is no inclusion or any annual target set for temporary residency categories such as international students, work permit holders, or visitor visas. So the Immigration Levels Plan only includes the new permanent residents from both inside and outside Canada. Usually, the Immigration Level Plan for 2024 is of the utmost importance given that these three-year plans are revised every year on November 1st. Will Canada Increase Immigration Levels? Canada immigration is receiving a lot of interest from around the world, with highly qualified individuals and families seeking to call Canada their permanent home. Further, Canada has the largest ever inventory of foreign nationals inside Canada with valuable Canadian experience and contributions to the Canadian economy seeking permanent residency status. Apart from this, Canadian citizens and permanent residents have already been seeking an increase in the quota for family sponsorship since these numbers are quite low. Additionally, Canada has been on the front lines to provide a response to the ongoing humanitarian crisis in different parts of the world, offering refuge to people fleeing war. The current federal government, Liberals, has been repeatedly indicating a labor shortage in the construction sector and healthcare to provide for the Canadian population. International students, work permit holders, asylum claimants, and their family members inside Canada are also increasing exponentially, with not enough spots to become permanent residents. The plain sight of the above listed factors indicates that we could see an increase in annual immigration targets on the upper side of 500. Oh, oh, oh. Not only this, Canada previously set a target of 465, oh, 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 for 2023, which the country is already on track to easily meet this year. For 2024, 
the target is already set at 485, 000 and 500, 000 for 2025. So chances are higher that the immigration target will be increased further. Focus on temporary residents in new immigration levels plan 2024. According to the Financial Post, some economists advise the government to provide more information about the potential role of the country's anticipated 2.1 million temporary residents to avoid coming across as disconnected from the reality on the ground. The government needs to properly manage the expectations of people who are already here on temporary visas and give a clear picture of how many new residents it expects, whether permanent or not, according to Rebecca Young, an economist at the Bank of Nova Scotia. The government runs the risk of coming across as disengaged or indifferent to reality on the ground if it keeps raising the targets for permanent residency without offering more information, the official stated. However, we might have a growing target for permanent residents but, overall, a slower pace of population growth if they release an all-in target that includes numbers around non-permanent residents and the anticipated crosswalks for some that are already in the country. That might buy some time while the strained infrastructure tries to make up for lost time. Current Immigration Levels Plan 2023-2025 to What is the current Canada Immigration Levels Plan? The current Canada Immigration Levels Plan aims to welcome around 465,000 new permanent residents in 2023, 485,000 in 2024, and 500,000 in 2025. By setting a new target from 431,000 this year to 465,000 next year, 485,000 in 2024, and 500,000 in the year 2025. As the day approaches, the anticipation for the new Canada Immigration Levels Plan 2024 grows. The implications of this plan reach far and wide, impacting families, skilled individuals, and the nation's overall development. Stay tuned as we bring you the latest updates and insights on Canada's immigration vision for the future. That is all for today. In this video, what are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.